Is Mary's Room an argument against AGI? I don't necessarily think so. AGI might be just the easy problem. That is, if we can figure out how to model a system that behaves consciously, could we simulate it and wouldn't the simulation be AGI? Uh, artificial general intelligence, like a, 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 a computer that really does behave like indistinguishable from human. However, if you then ask, does that computer have internal subjective experience? That we can't know. And I don't think any scientific investigation will tell us the answer to that. There's a term that was introduced before David Chalmers in the 70s called the P-zombie, which, which haunts the nightmares of metaphysicians all over the place. The P-zombie is not, you know, a zombie. P-zombies function and observably behave exactly like conscious beings. They're like your AGI computer, carefully designed so that it simulates the same exact processes that go on in the brain of a norm normal human being. And it's plugged into a robot and the robot looks like a person and walks around and talks and, and says, oh, that hurts, oh, that feels bad, or I see red, or whatever they're saying, right, okay? But does that computer have it? Is there something that it is like to be that computer? Does it have an internal subjective experience like the kind that we believe we have? If it does not, it is called a P-zombie.